Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over a 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands Sasquatch that's a two door finished in a eruption green. I cannot talk today for some reason. Eruption green, it is such a beautiful color. You guys are absolutely gonna love this. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Kengar Ford here in American Fork for giving me some time with the Bronco and also the new owner of this Bronco for letting me film their Bronco. I really appreciate it. And so with all that being said, I'm gonna link to their inventory in the description down below. And again, just a shout out to the owner, but let's get right into the video. So starting under the hood with this Bronco, we have the turbocharged 2.7 liter V6, goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for 330 horsepower and then 415 pound feet of torque on premium gas. And then with the Sasquatch package, 17 around town, 17 on the highway. And then here's the green under the hood, which looks really uh, good if you ask me, but yeah, there you go. So let's go over this Bronco and I was so excited when I saw this driving by on the interstate that like I literally flipped around and I was like hey can I uh, film this seriously uh, but anyways you guys can see the eruption green just looks fantastic you got the mirrors that are mounted here onto the uh, front and then you have this that doubles as like an accent piece but also you can lower down the windshield onto it, which is pretty cool and then you've got the LED headlights right there which uh, actually I remember I went <laughs> and uh, turned them on so you guys can see what those look like uh, while they're on and uh, yeah, I, in this video is kind of mainly to uh, focus on the green color because it's such a rare uh, color. It's new for 22, but there's not a lot of people that are going to order it. Uh, you guys can see with the LED lights and the LED accent light, still have the white Bronco logo there with the camera in the center. And then you guys can see just how aggressive this is. I love uh, how the uh, tow hooks themselves kind of like fold down because it makes it look a little bit cleaner with the front end. Parking sensors are on the front bumper with the fog lights on either side as well and then you guys can uh, see the green paint right there just looks really cool in the sunlight it just kind of sparkles uh, i posted a picture of this on instagram and a lot of people really uh, liked it they said that it's their favorite bronco color uh, by far out of uh, everything that's uh, basically been uh, made at this point uh, from the factory right and then going on from that, you guys can see here with the front suspension. So since this is a Sasquatch, it has the Bill Stein posi position sensitive uh, shocks, kind of hard to say, but they look really cool. You guys can see how they're displayed uh, right there. And they help out uh, obviously with crawling, but also with high speed off-roading as well. They're kind of like a dual purpose shock. And then being a Sasquatch, you got 17 inch wheels, which are beadlock capable with 35s wrapped around them. Uh, really great tires, uh, super aggressive. And you guys can see the wheel design there has a you know normal off off-roader look but uh, these tires do amazing uh, in all sorts of conditions and then you can see the oversized fender flares part of the bronco package notice we have our badlands sasquatch logo and then you got the rock rail which will protect uh, the underbody of the Bronco when you do take it uh, off-road, which is great. And uh, this is kind of in lower light, uh, so you guys can kind of see in the uh, dark. And then you can see here in the sunlight, which, uh, funny enough, I had to stop here to show you guys kind of this portion because a UPS truck, <laughs> you guys can see in the background, uh, drove by. And I was like, I don't want to get ran over. So you guys can see here with the uh, full side view and, and more in the sunlight, just the color is so dynamic. It's uh, just because of the metallic flake and everything, it just kind of changes depending on how the light's hitting it. And then you can see here with the wheelhouse liner and the back to uh, protect it from debris and all that. And then you can see the Bilstein position sensitive shocks in the rear as well with all the suspension. And uh, you guys can see exhaust tip recovery hook and the spare tire there on the back. Uh, this thing looks really uh, cool. You can see you've got the camera mounted in the center, and then it also has the beadlock capable wheel. Um, so you can get all of them converted if you uh, are really into the crazy off-roading that uh, needs that to happen. Receiver hitch down below. And you guys can see here with the uh, key fob for it, you've got your unlock, lock, and remote start uh, that comes with it. And then the Bronco logo there on the back. And then here are the tail lights. Uh, so you can see full LED lights here look great. And then opening it up, um, so it's got multiple compression zones. So here's kind of like the first one uh, with the tailgate. And then you have to kind of like push it beyond this and then it'll fully uh, open by itself. Don't try to throw it or anything, just kind of like let it do its own thing um, so you don't break it or anything like that. And then uh, popping out of the rear, notice the green is in several areas in the interior. And then you have this for like the top uh, for storage uh, from the factory, which is great. Uh, so you don't scrape the paint or anything like that uh, by just throwing it in the trunk, right? And then you have your little tool kit here underneath with uh, more of that <laughs> beautiful green and you can see here if you take off the top it is going to be exposed uh, just like what you have like on the jeep wrangler when they have their tops off they've done the same thing with the uh, bronco which is great and then you can see there on the other side as well and a uh, good amount of storage space uh, being a two-door there in the rear i know he's 
window first, <laughs> hatch second. Don't do in the opposite uh, order. And uh, it's easy to close though. Uh, I will say that. It's harder to open, but it's it's much easier to close. Now, one thing I'm noticing here on the video is it looks bluer on camera than it does in person. It's like just straight green. And it's not, I, I wouldn't say there's really, a, I didn't see any blue hue in person. So camera filter kind of messed up a little bit there. I love the gray accenting they picked with this one. And then also notice the interior colors brought in side, or sorry, the exterior colors brought in to the interior. Dyslexia, I guess. Uh, looks great, though. And then you guys can see here with the uh, seats, uh, really cool with the contrasted stitching and then the gray elements on it. Um, I think the owner picked a really cool interior and exterior color combination um, because the interior doesn't clash at all with the exterior. And then those little elements that are uh, kind of like yellowish orange uh, look really cool in contrast to the exterior. I really like it. So I think that uh, whoever picked this out did a great job. Anyways, you guys can see here with the steering wheel set up and you have the normal Bronco gauge cluster with the analog gauge for the speedometer and the screen for the rest the information and then the center infotainment system. Uh, now the owner did request that I don't turn the Bronco on. That's why it's still off if you guys are wondering. And then you can see all the controls that come with the Badlands Sasquatch. So it has the stabilizer bar disconnect, front and rear lockers, trail turn assist. It's got all the off-roading stuff. Volume controls down below and then you've got your dual zone climb controls the heated seats and heated steering wheel and uh, then you guys can see we've got the wireless phone charger here at the very uh, bottom and then the shifter for that 10 speed automatic transmission with the manual shift function and then we have our goat terrain mode select uh, with uh, all the drive lines right two wheel high four wheel high four wheel low four wheel auto and then you can see the center console right here and i noticed we got the mirror adjustments there in the center as well and you can see the rear seat so you have it's a four seater right you've got the two in the back and then the the two in the uh, front and you can fit adults back there comfortably um, I have sat in the back of a two-door Bronco uh, Nate's Bronco shout out to him and uh, yeah you can you can fit an adult back there pretty comfortably um, but popping over here to the passenger side we can actually go over the window sticker on this particular Bronco and uh, I love how the window sticker also has green on it so it kind of matches <laughs> the uh, exterior right uh, but notice again, 2022 Bronco. This color is new for 22, so you have to you'd have to get a 22 to get this uh, color. And uh, you guys can see all the standard equipment that comes uh, with the Badlands, and then you can see the optional equipment on this particular one. This one's you know fully loaded, um, and then you can see the base price with the total MSRP right there, fifty eight thousand one hundred and seventy dollars. If it was a four door, it'd probably be about sixty two thousand dollars, roughly. If you guys are wondering, in terms of the pricing difference with the MSRP. Um, but yeah, overall, super exciting uh, to see this, and I'm really grateful that the owner let me uh, do a walk around on their uh, Bronco before they took delivery of it. And uh, like I said, I think it's the best looking one. They actually had a, quite a few Broncos here at the uh, dealership, so I want to show you guys uh, this one that's finished in Area 51, just to give you guys kind of an example of a different color, and also it's still Sasquatch package. And yeah, just you know, Area 51 looks great, but it just doesn't it just doesn't quite look as uh, good as the gray or not the gray, the green, the eruption green. Um, and so, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like that green so much, but uh, yeah, there you go. That is pretty much everything uh, for the walk arounds and uh, I'll see you guys.